Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the second part of a dual release day here where we had the SP Signature Legends. Go back and check that video out if you haven't yet. I opened up a box of that already. The other release today was 2122 Allure Hockey. Hobby box featuring eight cards per pack and eight packs per box. Yeah, Allure is kind of interesting. It's uh, always sort of struck me as being like Opeachy Platinum Light or like Opeachy Platinum Sticker Autos. Very similar sort of looking sets. It's like the other Chrome set that Upper Deck has if they're two Chromium sets or these Chrome Heavy sets. Previous years, uh, Platinum is sort of just a better product all around and sort of more more well liked by people. Looking at the previews of this stuff, uh, it looks like they sort of went in more of a different direction, I think, to try and differentiate the products. I feel like for a lot of people, there wasn't a lot of reason to buy this product just because if you could afford it, you just bought platinum. So I think Upper Deck maybe took notice of that. It's, it's almost more like, a, it's, I read someone, some referred to it as, it almost seems more like it went into like a synergistic, synergistic, a synergy direction. So it looked more like synergy, probably just in an effort to try and differentiate the product from platinum, especially as platinum's gotten so popular. So, uh, and who knows when we're going to get platinum. So if you need your chrome fix, I guess this is your best bet until platinum actually drops, which God knows what that's going to be. But yeah, it's 21-22, so nice to get another technically year old product, but they're slowly but surely coming along and getting them all out. You know, it's a 21-22 rookie class, Caulfield, Zegris, Byfield, Cider, those guys. So at this point, we're pretty familiar with the checklist, but they're all in here. Sticker autos, that's again, one of the big difference between this one and Platinum, but uh, it's way cheaper. This is 140 bucks as opposed to uh, like three. I, can't, I don't remember what Platinum was when it came out way back when, but it's over 300 bucks usually now to find if you can find a box. So, so yeah, so uh, they added a few parallels this year um, over last year. Other than that, other than the design being a little bit weird for Allure. Something about the design. The design last year, I think, was just too much like like Platinum, whereas this year the uh, design is way different, which is kind of good or bad, depending on your outlook. It's definitely a, quite a bit of a departure design-wise from the last year's stuff. 150-card base set, uh, 100 veterans, 50 rookies. You're going to get one rookie in every pack. Parallel heavy, lots of numbered cards, lots of colored cards. Colors are a big thing in here, right? So two new parallels this year are the number are called number, which is like, they're numbered to 199. They just say numbers inside an area of the card. Nothing else to do with any of like the player number or anything like that. And then there's also a pink leopard edition and some die cuts in here. So yes, yeah, so there's your base parallel breakdown. You can see it's a tons of, tons of different colors, very similar to, uh, similar-ish to platinum in that sense. Just numbered color variations, patterns and things like that make it a little different than other sets. And of course there are some one of ones in here, golden treasures, printing plates. So obviously looking to pull a low numbered rookie or uh, a one of one rookie would be awesome as well. So anyway, as far as the uh, inserts go. Uh, new options this year. Bread baskets. Those are one and nine. It's featured goaltenders on them. Then the control room, which highlights top young talent. Uh, those are one and nine. And then the hustle hit and never quit are one and 12, which feature grinders and enforcers on the ice. Everybody loves grinders in the hockey hobby. Other things that are in here, allure quartz, one and 12. Rookie or allure quartz rookies are one and 18. According to Upper Deck, the allure quartz rookies are the crown jewel of the insert sets. So, okay. Uh, there's also so some familiar ones that are coming back. Iced out one and nine packs. So they have a new design this year, but that's an insert that's been around. Yeah, one of one golden treasures, and there's also green rainbow versions of the bread baskets, which are numbered to 99. Another all new, new insert this year is a rainbow, a bunch of different rainbow colors. As you can see here, ranging from red to purple, the colors of the rainbow. A bit confusing because there's like a rainbow parallel anyway, or like a red rainbow or something like that. So it gets a little confusing. It's pretty crazy. We'll try and keep track of all of it as we go here. But for the autographs, like I said, they are sticker autos, the sort of the real nice autographs, you get relic autos. I think they, some of them might be manufactured. I'm not exactly sure. Based on the pictures here, it looks like one could be manufactured, but they might be game more. Like I said, the relic autos, there is also quartz autos, which are one in 300. Uh, rookie autos are one in 600 in that same card. There's also bread basket autos, which are one in a thousand. Control room autos are one in 360. And the hustle quit and never quit are one in 800. And finally, the iced out autos are one in 800. Hobby box break average for allure here. One autograph, eight base rookies, three base black rainbow parallels, three base red rainbow or orange slice die cut parallels. One base insert parallel, number 299. Five inserts, either allure quartz, bread baskets, control room, hustle hit, never quit, or iced out. Two rainbow red orange inserts or one rainbow insert parallel. So you can see it's a lot of colors and it gets a little confusing, so I'll do my best to keep track of it. So pretty standard checklist. I mean, we obviously know this rookie class very well. I mean, they're all in here based on the fact that this product is late. Every rookie's live, which is nice. And as far as the veterans go, it's a hundred base set, hundred card base set. So you're standard guys. Shouldn't hit any real obscure players. It is interesting to see a different box configuration though. It's like stand up box here as opposed to the flat long box you almost always get these days. All right, it's so your eight packs in the middle there. And its packaging is all about deception. It makes it look like there should be like two rows of packs in there and there's just the one. It's funny how they, they always do stuff like that. All right, your pack odds there. Lots of parallels and lots of colors. So we got an orange slice die cut there. So I am fully expecting my auto to be like a Jonathan Dolan, who's not in the league anymore. So there's that. Uh, so Sidney Crosby base cards. So there's your base design. Again, like I said, it's kind of synergistic. Definitely a... Uh, you know, quite a departure from the super, like, relatively simplistic design of, of the last set, which just had, like, the ring around the player and stuff. Yeah, you get more of this, like, fake texturing and stuff like that. Ah, it looks okay. Nice thick base stock, though, which you always get with a chrome, chromium card. So there you go. Five years of stats on the back. Sid. 
Ebbs on the Kraken, Svechnikov in the Hartford jersey. I'd love to see that. Bauer, J Rob, second year J Rob, of course. So Matthias Samuelson, orange slice card there. So not uh, not numbered or anything like that. Just uh, just an interesting looking die cut. And then our rookie. There's a cider rookie. So, I mean, not bad for a base rookie. Get one of the top rookies there. So, again, these are not short print or anything, being one per pack, but cider is still top of the class at least. And an iced out of Anthony Mantha. So, here's what your iced out looks like. So, that returns from last year. In fact, I will say the quality seems good. Centering was, you know, and centering is not going to be a huge issue on these cards. Uh, not like last year. I think centering will be less important on these based on the design than the last ones were, but so far it seems fine. So, think about the chrome cards. The chrome cards always feel nice. Feel nice in your hands. So, second year, Lafreniere, Debrinket, of course, now in. In Ottawa, Matthew Chuck, of course, now in Florida, Patrick Ready now in Carolina. This thing with an old set. These guys are all changed. Line is still there, though. So there's an allure rainbow of Ili Tolvanen. So he's in Seattle, or uh, yeah, Seattle now. Non numbered card, sort of neat, but actually, this is like the confused. So, yeah, so here's the rainbow card, not to be confused with like the rainbow parallel, which is numbered, I believe. Um, so these rainbow parallels are not numbered. So, like, you find another card that's got orange on this side and then goes to yellow, red to, yeah, exactly. So I've, if I can remember my colors of the rainbow, bad. And Spencer Knight rookie, so it's a rookie quartz, so that's cool. So you could actually get the rookies in that. Spencer Knight just went to the, or not just, but he's been in the player assistance program. We'll see what he does when he comes back. And then Uko Pekka Lukanen, another decent rookie to get. Uh, so it's, this is what's confusing. This actually isn't one of the rainbow cards. This is the rainbow red orange card. So we get two of these. So not the same as the other rainbow cards. Just make things confusing. A poor tired, poor tired brain. Doing the best it can. There's Kopitar, Heiskinen, Nikolai, Gielers, Nikolai. Maxime Comtois, there's a McDavid base. So always taking a McDavid base. So there's a Dylan Larkin, D-Boss, on the red rainbow. So there's a red rainbow, red orange rainbow. It's a little crazy. And behind that is the Connor McDavid on the Allure rainbow. So now orange yellow. So not to be confused with, okay, so this is the one rainbow parallel we get. So we got orange yellow, not to be confused with the two red orange rainbows that you get. That's just a little bit ridiculous, but Connor McDavid on any card, Said a million times, love me some McDavid. Take any Oilers card. And then Matthew Phillips, depth guy for the Flames that I think finally got a goal like a month ago or whatever. I think I saw it on TV. So he's played and scored, but yeah, he's an AHLer. Maybe it's just me, but it definitely feels a little more confusing than Platinum. Um, Fox, you're down on Toronto. Michi, Michi, Michi. Stutes having a great year. So an upside down Drew Doughty, inexplicably upside down. Don't know why. So there's a bread basket of Philip Grubauer, Seattle, and interestingly so. It's like this one was upside down because it's not a parallel, or is no, that is a parallel. That's why it was upside down. What is this one? Mm, okay, that's a black rainbow. So that's inexplicably upside down. I guess it's kind of still unexplainable, like why they can't get cards, right? But there's your black rainbow, so like just a little bit of extra color to it there. And then Grubauer in the bread baskets and a David Ference. All right, well, like I said, quality at least seems fine so far, other than having a you know, upside down cards, but that happens with inserts sometimes. So Hubie Doobie Doobie Doe now in Calgary, Vasilevsky and Markstrom, two vastly different quality of goalies. <laughs> no offense to Markstrom. Braden Point, Shifley, and then we got, all right, so we got a black rainbow. I now know that that's a black rainbow, thanks to that other one. Black rainbow of Kalen Addison. So hey, it's a black rainbow rookie, not numbered or anything like that, but it's a rookie a rookie parallel, so Addison, depth defenseman in Minnesota, but he's been all right. Hustle hit never quit of uh, Matthew to Chuck. Again, Florida now. Florida definitely won that trade. And then Wade Allison is our sh not short part rookie. So three packs left. I don't think we have a numbered card yet. At least I haven't seen the numbered card if we do have one. Or is our auto, which might be here. I think a lot of times these red autos. Austin Matthews, Jake Gensel, Morrissey having one hell of a year. Tuck now in Buffalo. Eichel now in. These guys swap places. They're the same deal. They were they traded for each other, I think, right? If I remember correctly. And you got a Charlie McAvoy. So this would be orange-red autograph. Um, yeah, red-orange, so not the rainbow. And yeah, there's our autograph. So Jonathan Hubie Duberdo. So of course, now he's in Calgary. Base red rainbow auto. A nice looking card. Of course, uh, he's not on the team anymore, which is always always awkward. Actually, it's kind of funny that I pull him now that I think about it because there's Jan Yenik on the rookie. In the box of platinum I did here on the channel, uh, I pulled a red base auto of Tuchuk, which is on card and better and everything like that. But he, they got traded for each other, and now I've pulled each other's in a similar product, and they're both on the wrong team. And yeah, so <laughs> that's just how things work out for me. So there's Huberdo. Again, sticker autos, what are you going to do? But cheaper product. Be nice if everything was on card, but apparently if things are on card for upper deck they come out three years late so maybe we should be happy no I'll never say that we should never be happy that they're stickers but there you go i was expecting a jonathan dolan signature so you know that's that's better than that so we'll take it earl suzuki cards stick together a little bit peterson seth jones it's colton pareko it's gonna no other rookie it's another another rookie uh, parallel which is nice there's a white kalnick 
So that's the red rainbow. Again, not numbered or anything like that, but still a rookie parallel. We'll take it. And another rookie parallel, the control room of Kalen Addison. So that's actually a little bit harder to hit a rookie in the control room. It's like 1 in 80 or something like that. So we'll take it. And then Tanner Lashinsky. All right, final pack here. I'm trying to think if we're missing anything. Base pack, this might be our base black rainbow, I think, because I think that's the one thing we're due for here. And we got everything else. That's probably what's in here. So Panarin. Got a back also having a great year. Chikrin. Big Ottawa trade. There. Oh, no, we got some kind of a... This will be one of those rainbow cards. Yeah, yellow to blue. Fill the thrill. Then we got a Cam Talbot. There's... Okay, so I was right. So a Cam Talbot black rainbow. So I was right on that one. There you go. Now an auto, of course. And then the David Farron. So another rookie. It's funny, these ones... This is a rainbow green, blue. Oh, there's a numbered card. So 72 of 299. So we just had a numbered card. So, oh yeah. So the insert parallels are 99 plus potentially. What a dumb way to say it. Anyway, it doesn't say rookie on there. I just happen to know that David Ferrance is a rookie. Not a great one, but a rookie nonetheless. And then Samuelson's a rookie there. So there we go. All right. So quality wise, yeah, it's quality's on point at least. They all look fine. Corners for the most part are good. Centering seems okay. Chrome's always a nice, thick, thick paper stock, which is nice. And a little tiny bit of the usual chrome roundness to it, like the little curling, but nothing too bad. So. And not a not a great box. That being said, hit okay cards. Um, Cider's probably Cider would be for sure our best base rookie, but these base rookies aren't going to have any value because they're not short printed. And then, other than that, a um, couple rookies. So at least we hit some rookies on the uh, parallels, which are always nice. Even though I don't think no big name rookies on these guys. Yeah, just standard rookies, and then McDavid. Probably my favorite insert there as a McDavid slash Euler fan. The nice base, nicest base insert we got. And the auto, bit of a miss on the auto as far as I'm concerned. Um, I mean, obviously Hubro is a great player, but not having the best season. Just a base auto as well. It is just hilarious to me that the two Chromium products I have opened here on the channel. One was the guy he got traded for on the Calgary Flames still because it was a 2021 product. And then him on the Panthers because he hadn't been traded yet. So that's kind of hilarious. So there it is. So there we go. So he's an entry level product for sure. If you can afford it, Platinum makes more sense. On card, on card is always the way to go versus the stickers for sure and uh, a little more secondary market love as well allure you've got to hit a couple cards if you want to make any money back so this box was a bit of a miss but it's tough with allure anyway so at least the quality control is good given that getting the 21 22 sets out which is nice to see yeah interesting product i mean entry level for sure 140 bucks yeah i feel like it's maybe 30 bucks ish too high this canadian of course but be great value at 99 for sure and maybe even like 120 it'd be a little more stomachable but is what it is so there we go. So hope you enjoyed that. If you like uh, box reviews, cards, openings in general, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. I always appreciate it. Love everybody who does that. Thanks for sticking around this far and uh, we'll see you in the next one.